In this video, we will learn how we can create a content for our website. As an example, creating a blog for our website and post it to our blog. Also, how we can improve our product description or any other text related matter using our AI tool called Typer Tool. When we create the website using GetShop today, Typer Tool get integrated with the website. So here you can see the first icon is the Typer Tool. If we just click on this button, same as PostMagic and New9, it's going to be creating an account on Typer Tool and integrated with your website. So if I click on this button, then now our account creation process is successful. As you can see here, it says congratulations, and also you get a 2000 writing credit for free. So now let's we see how this tool actually we can use and we can write a blog. So to writing a blog, first we need to go on tool button. You can see on the menu. Then there are actually several different type of tools. So here I'm going to focus right now how we can create a blog. So I click on there. Then under blog, we have several different uh, module that we can work with. But first, what I will do, I will just go and get some idea that what about will be my blog. Generating idea, just I click on that blog idea. So what about will be my blog? So if I go back to my website, let's say I want to write a blog about this particular product. Now I'm going to just go to view product and the title here is a Navia Soft Moisturizing Cream. Then if I click this, and then I go back to Typer Tool and I enter this text here and I would click Write for me. Then what will happen? The Typer Tool going to be generate some idea for us because in a blog, first we should have a good idea. Then we are going to decide what would be the outline or the section. Then we are writing a proper blog. So let's click on that Write for me. Now you can see that here it generated several different type of idea. So first of all, what we do, we are gonna save these ideas on the editor. You see here the button called add to editor. I add it to the editor. So if I go to view editor, then I can see all my idea are saved here. So let's, I'm gonna go with this idea that why Nevia soft moisturizing cream is best choice for dry skin. I just simply copy this uh, idea itself and then I click on the close button. Now what I will do, I will go here block section. These are going to be generating several section for this particular blog. Now I enter this idea in here. Now I just click on write for me. Uh, then here we can see that several different type of section it created. Then all we have to do just click here add to editor. Now what I will do go back to my editor. First I am going to create some intro content using my blog title. So which is I copy again then close it. In this time you can see here blog content. And then I just enter this. You can even enter some targeted keyword if you want. Then our AI going to be integrated those keyword within this explanation or the blog content and also you can choose that how what will be your maximum length of the blog content i mean or what will be your maximum length for that particular section and then you can choose to more or less whatever you want and here you can see tone of voice that if we choose the tone of voice then your written text will be more like the voice tone you are choosing here. So I'm keeping it normal and then I just click here, write for me. About this particular title against of this, he generated this amount of text. So you can read it. If you do not like the way Typer Tool wrote for you, you can just click on this write for me again. If it is, then he will be generating a completely different set of text. And then once you are happy, then just click on add to editor. Then this text is going to be added to your editor. Now let's go back to view editor. And then we work so far, let's say this point. 
now we want to work for this bit so what I do I just copy this then I just close this editor and then I'm gonna delete my old idea now I enter the new section and then again I say write for me then he is going to writing another set of text or another paragraph now I have it and then what I will do I just say add to editor now go to editor and again let's say I'm gonna add this one and then what I'm going to do I copy and then close it and then again remove this idea and enter your new one and write for me now I get another set of text I can add to the editor and also even if you want that the software can read the text for you if you just click on this play button then this text gonna be read out so if you like you can keep it if you want to change something you can just change it and say add to editor now if you go to view editor then you can see already we wrote about 422 word and of course after you writing a text using that AI tool you may need to check the plagiarism and to check the plagiarism you can see here the plagiarism button if you click it then it will give you the plagiarism test and let's say for any reason any line or any sentence they found that it goes in under plagiarism then you can just select that sentence or select that line then after that you can say here the rewrite button and if you do so then the AI going to be rewriting this sentence for you so I hope you understood that how actually we can write a amazing blog using type tool so now the question that when we do have a blog now how we can promote and post the blog in our website so let's we go back to our website and when you create a website using get shop today technology the blog system are a built-in system first we go to settings and then we go to general setting then we just choose the blog function switch on and then you make sure that your site title and everything is fine also your footer text and everything you make it how it should be and then just click on update now you see that your blog function is activated once your blog function is activated then you need to go to content management and here you see your blog are available here so now if I go to my website and refresh you see anywhere the blog function does not show the reason is that we did not add this blog link into our front end of the website so now let's we see how we can do that to doing that all we have to do go to content management and then go to menu setting then we need to click on menu link setting then we need to click on inactive menu and then here you can see the blog and we just need to click on inactive in order to make this menu active so I click on active now you can see this menu appear here so you can actually drag and drop and you can place the blog menu where you want I want to set it here so now let's go back to website and refresh you can see now your blog function appears in your website if I click in it you see we do not have any blog so now let's we learn how we can add the blog into our website so what I will do I go back to type a tool and then I need to go let's say view editor and once you are in a view editor let's imagine that this blog is complete and we are happy with it all we have to do click on copy text and then I go back to my website and then I'm going to content management and blog and once I'm in the blog area here you can see that new post if I click on new post then I can actually enter my blog title so and here SEO title and also here you can see blog text so if I enter my blog text and of course we need to give our blog title itself so this is the title I'm just copying it by pressing command C or if it is a Windows computer then control C which is copy and then I enter which is command V or if it is a Windows computer control V 
and then I can add the SEO title or you can ignore it, it's completely up to you. And then here you can see the feature image, must add a feature image to the blog. So let's click on add image. Now I can add actually any image I want and then I crop and then click on crop blog image. So here is the category. So I choose any category I want to and also you can add a keyword. Also you can add a meta description and once all are done, just click on publish blog. Now if you go back to the website and click on the blog, you can see we published one blog and if I click in the image then it shows the blog in our website. So I believe now you know how we can integrate Typer tool and how we can use Typer tool to make the blog content. So in our next video we will learn how we can integrate eBay with our website. Thanks for watching.